Hi everyone, welcome back to another post-production tutorial. In this video, we're going to have a look at the Spike Jones film Her, and we're going to recreate that look using some footage that I shot in my hometown of Wellington. Her has such a warm, beautiful look, but it's actually quite desaturated in places. We're going to take all those elements and we're going to try and apply it to the shot we're working with. Let's go. Okay, so this is the shot that we're working with. Uh, this was shot in Wellington, New Zealand on an overcast day. It's looking a little bit overexposed at the minute, but uh, none of that is clipped, so we can bring that all down. And what we're going to do is going to bring this shot into the world of Spike Jones' film, Her. Okay, so breaking down this shot, what can we notice? So probably the most obvious thing, especially flicking back and forth between our shots here, is that this is a very warm image. You can see on the scopes as well as in the highlights. So that's a big thing that we want to make sure that we apply when we do our grade today. The second thing, which is maybe a little bit less obvious, if we look especially in the background, you can see that this city has a lot of natural smog or haze. These buildings here are very gray, they're not black. Um, and you can also see that in the RGB parade reflected here as well. So we're not touching the bottom here and across the board, it feels quite hazy. Now, going into the foreground of the image, um, some of these black points here or darker points, um, they do have a little bit of uh, weight to them. Um, they're not too lifted, um, but just a general note that the entire image is not that contrasty. So we need to bear that in mind when we're doing our grades today as well. Okay, so flipping from our film still here back to our shot, uh, let's start to build our look. We're going to keep things really simple today, mostly sticking to primaries. And then at the end, I'm going to show you how to use the new depth map tool to add a really cool effect to our shot. So to start off with, let's just balance our exposure. I'll create a node just for that. And because we're working inside our color manage pipeline, when I use the offset wheel, it'll give me a really nice natural result. I'll create a new node, and this will be where we make our contrast adjustments. Having a quick look at our still for reference, I'm probably just going to decrease the contrast um, a fair bit. And I might just want to bring the overall shadows down. Our shadows are looking a little bit too lifted at the moment. Maybe just lift our gamma up a touch. And maybe our gain down just a smidge as well. Okay, um, I think that the highlights are still looking just a little bit too hot on our shot here. So I'm actually going to go to the HDR wheels and just with our light slider, I'm going to bring down this light zone just a little bit. Excellent, that's looking definitely in the same world. I'm going to create a new serial node and we're going to call this one color. And this is where we're going to do the biggest visual change to our image. Just going to get our gain wheel. I'm just going to drag that towards yellow red. Okay, so that's too purpley. We're going to go towards yellow. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. I'll go ahead and balance the shadows out just a touch. And maybe just add a little bit of green in the gamma. A little bit of green. I just add a little bit of purple to the shadows, so just subtracting a little bit of green and adding a little bit of green to the highlights. Adding a little bit of green to the midtones. This is definitely the sort of it's fine tuning. Maybe a little bit more green. So doing a few gain, gamma and lift adjustments, going back and forth between them, we've definitely gotten this shot into a similar looking world. If we compare our RGB parade here to our film still, as an inspired by look, this is looking pretty good. So this hopefully shows you how far you can get in an image with just using your primary correctors. Again, that is 90% of the job as a colorist. But let's have some fun. We'll add the depth map effect and we'll use that to create a very similar looking haze that this shot has and the movie in general has this beautiful haze so we'll try and recreate that in this shot here i'll test for a new serial node and we'll go ahead and label this depth we'll go to our effects and if we search for depth map we should be able to drag and drop that just to give you a refresher of the depth map 
When you use the depth map tool, it creates a foreground and background component to your image that you can use for grading. If I made any grade changes to this node at the moment, it would affect what's white in the image. So it would affect the foreground first and it would fade off into the background. I could show you that here by turning off the depth map and just adding a crazy offset adjustment. You can see that it's affecting the foreground and gradually fading off into the background. In our case, we want to add some haze to the background of the image, not the foreground. So making sure our depth map preview is on, I'm going to invert. And now you can see that we will be affecting the background of the image and not the foreground. Unfortunately, the foreground is still quite lifted. So any grade adjustments that we make on this shot at the moment will probably still affect the foreground as well. So we want to fine tune these levels to make sure that it's just affecting the background. To do that, we're going to go adjust map levels. And here we can change our limits. So we're going to go to the near limit and just bring this down. And you can see now the foreground is becoming a lot more defined. And because it's black, it means any grade changes that we make will not affect this component of the image. I might just adjust my gamma as well. And that's looking pretty good. We'll skip over the isolation settings, but we'll go down to the post processing settings and just add a little bit of a blur to this mat. That's looking pretty good. I can go up to the top of the depth map, turn off depth map preview. And now if we do our crazy offset adjustment, you'll see that it is predominantly affecting the background of our image. It's not very clean, but remember we are on the faster setting, not the better, and we haven't fine tuned these settings. Uh, so this is meant to be fairly rough. Resetting our offset here, I'm gonna go up to the contrast slider and I'm just gonna go ahead and bring that down. There you go, around 0 0.5. We're getting a lovely amount of haze in our image. I'll go before and after. Maybe we just increase it a little bit more, 0 0.55. What this has also done though, is it's cooled down that, that section of the image, the background. So with our offset wheel, I'm just gonna go ahead and reduce the blue in the image, which will introduce yellow. And also just reduce some of that green to introduce some more purple. And there we have it, with a couple of offset adjustments and a major contrast adjustment. Uh, this is before, and this is after. Okay, so playing back our shot, um, it's looking pretty good. We've got a little bit of flicker in the sky here. It's a little bit strange. Um, if I just go ahead and tweak my gamma back up, that should mostly eliminate that issue. But again, remember that we are in the faster quality setting, not the better. So uh, definitely when you're doing this for real, um, if your computer processing can handle it, make sure to be on the better quality setting. I think that's pretty good. The one thing that I might do, which isn't really present on this shot, but because this is an inspired by look, we can take a little bit of liberty. I might just add a little vignette to our entire image. Again, just bringing the offset down just a touch. And that's really nice. I might just bring this up a little as well. And that's before and after. And that just helps us center the image a little bit more. The final change I'll do is just add a little bit more contrast and our contrast node here. Yeah, that's looking really good. And that's it everyone, that is the color grading breakdown for the film Her. If you enjoyed that, make sure to give us a like and subscribe and comment down below what you'd like me to do next. I really enjoy doing these film breakdowns. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers.